Welcome to the Art of Automation webinar series, where we share new products and features coming from IBM development in 2020. In this segment, you'll see a brand new product released in March 2020, IBM Mobile Capture. Your subject matter expert today is Hansen Shen, offering manager for Mobile Capture, who will share the thinking behind this simple to use tool and take you through a live demonstration of the application. If you're like me, you're probably more addicted to your smartphone than you care to admit. And if you've managed to escape the fate by some chance, you've probably noticed your mobile usage going up in the recent years, and you're not alone, right? We know that right now there's a 5 billion unique mobile users in the world today. That's about 71% of the population of the globe. Um, and the really interesting stat here is that only 36% of organizations have adopted any type of mobile in the ECM space. And of that 36%, most of it's very shallow. It's just like looking at files, you know, preparing for your uh, presentation by going through some PowerPoint slides. It's not actually looking in capture or in content and more uh, conclusive picture that we've been imagining. Um, so what we've kind of been innovating right now is we're looking into how mobile capture can kind of touch some of these other points. So we've introduced intelligent document capture into a mobile device to allow customers and businesses to use AI and extract important information from right from their mobile devices. Um, this will be a convenient and secure way to collect and submit this information. Um, and it will be, it'll allow you guys to accelerate any business processes that you have in any of your distributed chains or any of your other um, sites that you have for your business and kind of help consolidate and conglomerate all of the information that you have. Um, and we'll see, we'll show you a demo uh, right after that shows kind of the second two points where we are talking about some data validation at the source and the setup. So let's get into the demo real quick. Um, David, can you still see my screen? And I'm now seeing your uh, your phone interface. Yeah, right. So this is the live demo, and um, I'll pray to the live demo gods that nothing is wrong. Demo. This is exciting. <laughs> right. So we'll examine a customer onboarding use case that I think is kind of uh, cross segment for all of us. So right here, you see we can click into the app and pick our employee onboarding demo. You'll notice at the top, it'll indicate that it's requesting a passport. And in the yellow bar, it'll say that it's detecting or it'll tell us, you know, what it's um, expecting to do. So we'll hold it still. And you saw that little blue screen. That was our uh, machine learning software automatically capturing the document, making sure it's, you know, skewed, straight, et cetera. And I'll ask the user if the image is clear. At the bottom, it'll allow you to select different uh, color types if you need. But we think this image is clear and we click continue and go ahead. Next, we have this I9 form. We're scanning, and again, it's um, taking a second to recognize. Once it takes the picture, it'll do the exact same thing. I'll ask if the image is clear, and we'll say accept. And here we can kind of position the document to make sure that the fields are aligned. And once everything looks good, we will move on. And finally, we have a employee drug test consent form that is going to be more uh, something that we just need a record of, not something we need information extracted of. So we'll allow the user to take a picture. Actually, in addition for all of these steps, you can also import files directly from your phone. So you know you can go into your files, from emails, etc. But in this case, we'll just uh, photo and move on. And this is kind of the magical part that we wanted to share that we think is interesting. If you guys have been in the capture space for a long time, you know that. One of the main pain in the butts is that when you have customers send you information that's incorrect, you will go into this, you know, it'll stop your entire uh, workflow in the background, and you'll have to go back to the customer, ask them to revalidate their information. But here we've kind of, using mobile, we've allowed that experience to be seamlessly pushed onto the uh, user instead. So that'll be a big sigh of relief, and it has been for some of our early adopters. So with this screen, you know, you can see that the John Doe here was able to look at all his information and verify it. But let's say, for example, for some reason, the social security number came out to some type of gibberish, right? For some reason, the capture didn't go wrong. So there, he can either you know retype it manually, or he can click this little finger button, select the document that the social security was 
stated on. And you can see he can zoom in to where the social security is and simply use his finger to swipe the screen across and automatically capture that information as well. So there's a couple options for them, for your customers or you to verify this info on that screen. And then finally, we just simply upload it to the repository of your choice. So I'm gonna move away from this and on the back end show you kind of how we created this demo or like how long did it take to actually do it, right? Because, you know, this is a pretty uh, lean demo, but if we see here, you know, this is where in the admin console where our uh, administrators are creating these scenarios. So we go in here and we create this new scenario called the employee, excuse me, on board. Onboarding, we create that scenario here. So for our first step, we were looking at, excuse me, first step, we were looking at importing this passport. And in the passport, we're here, we can say that we want to extract the, the name, the passport, and the date of birth, right? As information that we need to move on with our employee onboarding process. And the second step, we can upload a document. And here, this was the I-9 form. And when we edit this document, we can choose a file. So here we chose that demo file for this, and we simply click upload. At the top, you can allow your user to import from the device or not. But where you get into the field extraction is you simply take your mouse and you click and drag over the fields that you want. Et cetera. And then here you simply list the, the fields and you name them, um, et cetera. Save for our third step, we had that uh, picture of the drug test consent form. And here we can edit and we can allow the user to import from device again or take multiple photos. And then finally, we have this uh, property editor, which we think is kind of the magic sauce of all of this. When we edit here, we're allowed to add properties that we want extracted. And this is what we'd consider mission critical items for your team to take this information and move this onto some workflow in the background, right? So these are the fields that we wanted to take just to verify we had it all. And then here you can, you know, redrag and reorder the items that you'd like, or you can rename some of these to be more user-friendly. And hit save, and just like that, you're done. So we think this is a obviously a nice retouch to the experience from beforehand, if you've ever had the uh, pleasure of interacting with it, where it required a lot more data cap expertise in order to develop this. Now you can see this is more user-friendly that a business administrator can go in and kind of play around with. So one of the questions here uh, is, you know, are the document types preloaded by IBM, like the passport and so forth? Uh, and, and what I think is you just showed us the setup and how an administrator would set it up. Is that the, the right way to look at it? Yeah, definitely. So the first thing I showed was the on-screen mobile experience. The second thing I showed was kind of the admin configuration experience. And the, the first question you asked is, what are the document types? So there's some documents um, like a passport or a driver's license that we've pre-built for you guys because these are kind of standard things that people may uh, ingest. But there's also customizable documents that I showed. For example, the I-9 form. You go in there, you upload your own version of the file. This can be an internal company file or anything else. Then you kind of custom create the zones that you want extracted just from the mobile device on screen. So we handle both uh, in essence. And it looked pretty quick. And then um, there's a question about encryption. So, you know, the metadata, uh, document data and so forth. Uh, I would think obviously they're encrypted, but go ahead, handle that one. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I mean, we understand the nature of the business we're suggesting. There's obviously going to be a lot of sensitive information um, shared. So this is a container based solution that's available there or on prem. But as soon as we send the information off to the repository, all the inf all the images and information is stripped off the uh, server. So like I, us as IBM, we don't keep any of that. It's just we're serving kind of as a tunnel, secure tunnel to from your user to you. And it's obviously encrypted, uh, and it meets all the IBM security standards. Nice. Okay, that took care of a couple of the questions that just came up. So uh, back to you. Perfect, yeah. Um, 
So as a recap, what we kind of just showed you that was that A, you know, this is a pretty easy to use tool to get started with that can be set up um, pretty much in minutes. We know that for a lot of mobile cases, we want to test and make sure that these things work. So we wanted to provide an easy way, way for you guys to do that quickly in order to you know, gain adoption within your business. Um, on, the, on the device, you saw some of the technology we're leveraging to snap, read, confirm, and upload all of the information where we're doing, we're helping users automatically capture the highest quality image. And then we're reading most of that information off the document that the business selects. And then we allow the user again to verify that information. So we have, we spend less time going back to the user and asking, hey, can you tell us what your social security number is? You entered it wrong. And more time actually starting the business process that we need to. And finally, we're going to be able to use this to securely deliver this information onto FileNet, onto data, onto data cap if you need to do further processing of the document or to start kicking off a workflow. So on a high level for the technical sense, um, like I mentioned earlier, this is a containerized solution, but is available on-prem. So the, the mobile app, which is available out of the box and as an SDK, if you wanted to embed it into your own software, in addition to the Scenario Builder web app that I showed you on the second part of my demo, that is all communicating with our mobile capture server, which is a certified Kubernetes environment. From there, it will pass all the information onto the Navigator or to DataCap Web Services and push all the information from there to FileNet and DataCap. Um, so we well, we think the opportunity here or for mobile around the DBA portfolio is for each pillar, we have um, points of connection, right? So for capture, this is an easy, lightweight way to extend your mobile solution. If you have distributed um, sources or branches with low bandwidth and you want a, a point of ingestion for your business users or for your customers, we think this is a really high value add and a very easy setup. Um, for content, similar where we can, you know, you can get your users or your uh, people in your business to deposit documents directly from mobile into Content Manager. Um, similarly, for that in workflow, you know, if you kick off, you can allow your users to kick off a workflow by sending this information to you, you know, onboard an employee, start an insurance claim, et cetera, and uh, use that just by having the user submit these documents as it comes through, you know, you can start using your own internal process to check if this information is valid and move forward. And finally, um, in the digital worker space, we can see that mobile can kind of be the tangential arm to digital worker in terms of how the business and the user communicate, right? So the digital worker can kind of verify this information and push things back out to the user if it needs the user to provide more additional information or something else. So. What we're kind of imagining here is a world where you know you see these humans and machines working together where if you start on the left with the picture of the diagram you have the user who is capturing documents via their mobile phone from there they're sending that information into a repository of choice or to data cap for further uh scanning but we're getting into that repository and all that uh, metadata that we need from there we can kind of push it off into an automated workflow. And this is kind of where we pass it off to either the digital worker or some other software and team that you guys have inside your businesses. <clears throat> and then the digital worker kind of takes it off from there. But then if there's a scenario where there is still information or we want to request more information from the user, we can then allow the mobile phone to notify the user and say, hey, your business application or your bank loan um, did not go through because of this reason, please provide us with another, um, you know, proof of employment record or something of the sort, then the mobile phone will reach back into the user, update them on the status of their business application so they can see where they are at in the process to provide that transparency. Um, so just as a high level to share some successful use cases from our early adopters, we've helped a insurance company empower their agents to file claims quicker and more securely by allowing people to capture all this information at the source. For HR onboarding, like I showed you in that demo, we're making this process smoother and smarter by allowing people to do this at the source for a bunch of distributed uh, sites. 
And for logistics, we're helping a global supply company guarantee accuracy of their at the source of their shipping information. You know, like right off the plane or right off the docks, they're able to capture information right at the source to verify that these parts did come, these parts are good, these parts are not, in order to satisfy more supply chain needs. Now, I don't want to go over all of these per se, but I want to kind of spark the imagination of what we think mobile could be a really strong use case for. Um, basically anywhere that's high touch between either an end user submitting information to start a process like an insurance claim or like an accident report or a internal business user, user that's kind of at the branch level, you know, trying to capture information for onboarding an employee or starting a bank loan process for one of their clients. This is a kind of a high touch, um, very wide distributable solution that we think can help empower people at that level. So the value for the business that we see here is that by using intelligent document processing, we're able to um, streamline your sources, get more information quicker, enable your users to help you with some of the information ingestion at the beginning. And again, to and we think as the main point is to have that data validation at the source for them and reduce the workload of your kind of skilled or knowledge workers by spending having them spend more time processing applications and less time verifying information. When we get into the value for end users, you know, we are we think this is a great way to help provide that higher level of customer satisfaction and transparency, right? So the end user is finally able to submit some of these more sensitive uh, data documents securely to the business and initiate these processes. Um, using this intuitive and easy to use guided on device experience where you know people aren't taking a million pictures i don't know if, how many of you were early adopters of check capture but you know taking a picture of the check you know a hundred times trying to get the right version is tough or if there's like bended corners on the check or on the document or something using this uh, technology we're able to kind of reduce some of the weight load of all those little annoying parts that made mobile a little bit less attractive in the past and again, we're allowing users to kind of be up to date on how their process is going in the background. And you'll be entitled to use this with your DataCab, uh, FileNet, and Continent Navigator licenses. And this will be available for download via you know, the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. You can learn more about IBM Mobile Capture if you type into your browser http colon slash slash ibm.biz slash mobile capture.